Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero episode season 2 episode number 9. Ah, the previous episode that was the best episode of season 2. And that episode had like a combination of each and every type of emotion like uh, there were parts that were happy, uh, sad, uh, parts that were horrifying. Uh, I became surprised a lot of times. And there was like a sweet little portion at the end and like it was a full packed episode and like any anime or any kind of like show that is able to do such a thing in a single episode like deserves high praise and like uh, like reserve was obviously one of my what do you call it like top animes that I've ever seen like from season one but like after this episode and obviously the infamous Rem episode from season 1, uh, Subaru and Subaru's uh, parents episode in this season and like a lot of episodes that Petal Geese episode and all of these things included. Like I can say that uh, like I can give ReZero a 10 out of 10. Like uh, I rarely give animes 10 out of 10. A uh, few animes that I've given 10 out of 10 are like the Monogatari series, Gintama, all of this. Like uh, the th animes that have re like really impacted me. And Reezer is also one of them. I can like put it in that category. And I don't know like if it gets even better than this. Like I don't know what to say. Like this is already so amazing. And uh, season 2 is like has been really great. Like and we've all getting all of those backstories, all of the lore and everything, and uh, like in season one, I was extremely confused about what was happening in the like uh, in the background, like all of these witches and everything. We knew nothing about this, but now we're getting to see all of these, and like I can see like the background of this story of ReZero. Like the author had done an amazing job of like like constructing this world, this amazing world where with like great stories and great backstories and everything and like we barely have scratched the surface i think like there are i think a lot of more things coming because like still we barely know anything about the world about the re-zero world what's happening and everything so like yeah what can i say like this has been one of the best like experience i've ever had um watching anime so yeah so okay like i've talked a lot uh talked a lot uh at the beginning okay so without further ado let's get started with episode number nine of ReZero. um i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference let's get started all right i'll be starting the countdown three two one go ekido na At the one who put you through Witch of Envy, Satella. Yeah. Yep, that's also another mystery. She's like the witch of envy, so Oh yeah, this is also kind of like an interesting question But I would say There isn't, okay, that's a good and also not a bad thing, that is kind of like a good thing because the amount of suffering he has gone through Intense delusion Yeah Yeah Like without this like super would have been dead from the beginning like that three thugs What? You're trapped by the dead end. Mm. 
Okay. Mm. All right. That's entirely on him. Like he has to do it out of his. Back to who were sacrificed. Uh, okay. Mm. Oh my God! What's happening? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no one's betting the people's expectations. What the? Okay, that was. <laughs> Well, at least Echidna is here to listen to him griping about things. <laughs> she can understand. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Hmm. Great rabbit, what? Oh, three great marbles. The white one, the black serpent, toughness, gluttony. Oh, my God. Yeah, obviously. A lot of them. All living things are food. Oh my god. Uh, because of the gluttony, okay. Mm. Deserted field. Wait, those rabbits ate them all? Oh my god, this is like... At the same time... Oh my... Oh my, yeah, like, th that's impossible. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> This is bad. Oh god, so many things. <laughs> well, Sura has been like eaten, so what more than that? Opportunity to talk to Daphne. Wait, she. she yeah. Mm, mm, that's kind of a point. Hmm. In have oh. Okay. Me shattered even after it. Oh my! No choice. He he has to do it.
Release def deafness restraint. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see how is this. Wait, it's a lolly? It's a lolly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, she did not say. Don't like Badu. Bad guy. Not to I told him not to touch. Told him not to touch. What? Oh no. Eh? Oh my. I did not realize it. I was like, what the hell? Oh, wow. Great. Um, Tifon? What's happening here? These guys are crazy, like what the hell? Oh my god! Wow, love power. What is happening here? What is happening here? <laughs> who, who is this girl? Like, which, which, which? Wrath, Minerva. Oh. She looks a lot like Beatrice. <laughs> okay, two witches. We've already. So the first one was Witch of Gluttony, wasn't it? I don't know. Or or not. I... So that was not Gluttony. Like uh, Gluttony was Daphne, wasn't it? Okay, so is this? This is Daphne. Okay, the restraints. Super. <laughs> okay, this is Daphne. I was confused a bit. Dona Dona. Toxic. Wait, he wants to eat her? Him? Or, or what? He wants to eat him. Uh, this is drooling. Oh my god. Yeah. Bunny and the snake. Yeah.
what which show she did made them to for other people to eat what the hell oh my god so so the hunter became the hunted okay all right hmm um hmm <laughs> yeah Oh no, don't don't do that. Like uh he has suffered enough. Mana to find a spray. Hmm. Powerful magic, oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there's still the snake. Oh no. Oh no, he he's she's angry. Okay. Okay, so we saw three witches. <laughs> Who is she? Like, oh, witch of pride. Okay. Witch of wrath, Minerva. Well, she was like using love power. That's like opposite of wrath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, what's happening? Oh no. Oh yeah, he kind of like bashed his head. Yeah, oh. <coughs> Result is already in sight. No interest. Okay, so she's saying like Emily won't be able to do it. Hmm. Hmm. 
This cult, okay. Should do undergo the trial. That won't be the only way. Oh yeah, okay, ha. Huh. <laughs> okay, he's awakening. But don't forget. Oh yeah. Oh, Petrus handkerchief. Oh, okay, that's kind of handy. Yeah. Recognition. Oh, okay. Just to enter. Hmm, okay. Okay, does he remember? Uh, he remember? Yeah. Okay. Okay, where is Emilia and everyone? Oh no, I'm having a bad feeling again. Like, why is there no one here? Oh great. Well. Oh no. Oh my god, not again. Oh, oh my god. What the hell? Wait, is, is that Satella? It's Satella, isn't it? Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh my, okay, alright. My ear is tickling, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, okay, 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 alright. Well. Oh my god, what the hell are these things? Like, <laughs> like, Settle as a witch of envy, was this shit jealous or something? <laughs> Mm, yeah. Oh, 
Wait. What? Oh no, sir. Like Elsa is there also like satellites going there now. What is happening here? And in the sanctuary like the bunny rabbits are here like the great rabbit it was called isn't it yeah okay like um hmm. ah let me ah. okay so this episode was What can I say? Like, okay, so where are the, uh, the others, like Emily and everyone else? Uh, we only saw Garfield here, and Satella was here. Okay, it's the end. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Okay, there's more. Okay, we can see Roswell here now. If you wish to walk through hell. If you wish to. Who is he talking to? Like. Sat oh. oh oh so like this is also like uh like what do you call it a mistake he did so like you have to reset again I don't know okay so like uh let's talk about this episode um first of all we see like uh, a few of the witches here uh, okay, now first of all, let's talk about uh, their conversation about Satella and uh, Like as far as I can say here like Satella gave Subaru the power <laughs> Like I don't know why but previously I kind of thought like She had his good intentions in mind and I also think that now as well, but uh, Like I don't know like like it's yeah, I like I think that it is like a good intention. Like he, he she has the, his good intentions in his mind, obviously. But the way she does it, like obviously because like she is the uh, witch of uh, envy, or you can also kind of say like envy can be can kind of equated with jealousy, and uh, so like. First of all, I think she gave her uh, Subaru the power because like Subaru won't be able to survive in this uh, in this world and uh, now if you bring this thing into question then there's also another question coming up like why why did satella summon subaru in this world and like if it is satella who summoned him i think it is uh, like why did she summon subaru in this world like what was the main reason and after after she summoned him she probably thought that yeah he won't be able to survive in this world so i'm giving him a power which will bring him uh, back from the dead and he can kind of like uh, use trial and error method to go like further beyond but like that that in itself kind of bring, bring uh, brought its own problems like subaru's uh, mind doesn't get reset it like you have to make it that way if you have to like remember whatever uh, problem you uh, faced before so that you don't make it again so like that also kind of uh, like makes the memory of the death persist which is in itself a huge burden in the in the emotional state of Subaru so like all of these problems anyways so she uh, did that like if she didn't do that Subaru would have been dead in the first episode only uh, I can as far as I can remember like she he was uh, like stabbed by those three uh, uh, thugs 
and like that would have been the end and like did he was he stabbed the first time i can't remember like he was stabbed one time like i think that was the second time he was stabbed anyways like in an uh, in, in uh, like in a sh in short he would have been dead like from the beginning so satella gave him that power and that kind of helped him go and also like echidona is saying here another thing like she said that Satella only gave that power to you considering your well-being and she kind of expected you to only look out for yourself like Echidona is saying that Satella doesn't give a damn about the others he she only wanted like I don't know if she gave a damn gives a damn about the others but as far as I can we can understand she did not take into consideration Subaru's friends she only took into consideration Subaru and thought that yeah he himself can like uh, get out of any bad situations if he has this power but Subaru here like as far as I can say uh, as we've seen he obviously has used it for himself the return by death but the majority of the time he has used it for others for example Rem, Ram, um, uh, Emilia and all of the other people uh, what was uh, her name um, I forgot her name. Uh, that girl, uh, that yellow-haired girl, uh, with Reinhardt, who is now with Reinhardt. I can't remember his name. Her name, the thief girl. Anyways, that uh, girl. Like, why the hell do I forget all of these names? Anyways, um, all of these characters. He he has mainly used uh, the power for them, for them, uh, for saving them, and uh, that also kind of like brings uh, like more problems uh, towards Subaru and like for him to get to the good end and making everyone happy and like going to such an ending where like everyone can be happy that's a, like a tough job and so he has to suffer more but like so yeah as she, these were all the things that they were saying and like there are a lot of mysteries still surrounding uh Satel and uh, all of the others and we don't know why she brought him here and uh like why was she, he summoned why was he isekai in the first place and all of the other things how did she choose him her, and where is she now and what is her plans future in in the future all of these things we'll probably get them in this season later on or probably in the next season and uh, like towards uh, for subaru this is like a, as he said that this is a blessing like like he has to suffer obviously but this has been a blessing all of um, like all of this time because like he can redo and go for the good ending and that itself is like a huge thing even though he has to like suffer each and every time and then we get to know about the three ma beasts which Daphne created and uh, like we already, already saw the uh, the white whale and then the great rabbit and the snake we don't know we have not seen the snake up until now and like these two like in itself are quite problematic and i can only guess what this uh, snake will like uh, bring later on and uh, then she kind of like uh, temporarily went away so that the other witches can come uh, at first like uh, that uh, girl Typhon I think her name was uh, the witch of pride I thought that that was gluttony from the beginning so I was like uh, she asked him to not uh, make any eye contact or touch him so why the hell is Subaru doing all of these things but no I was apparently wrong that was not gluttony that was uh, pride and her name was Typhon and uh, sh like sh obviously she is like a little kid <laughs> lolly <laughs> like she is obviously a lot older because she's a witch so like from one of those like uh, i'm like 5000 years old but i'm a little girl <laughs> those type of characters and like she seemed quite cute but like her actions did not uh was not cute <laughs> that was kind of terrifying like i did not realize at first like when she uh, shook uh, Subaru, Subaru's hand like she was saying yeah that's great and everything and like I did not recognize it at the beginning but then I kind of uh, uh, saw that like wasn't Subaru like what was that what was that thing like Subaru did not have a hand and then it realized like when Subaru realized that he did not have his hand I also realized <laughs> and um, 
and i think he was not getting any pain like she, she was saying that you don't feel any pain that means that you are a good guy and uh, <clears throat> and she also says that so you see yourself as a sinner even though you're not a bad guy yeah that is kind of true like super kind of uh, blames himself for most of the things so yeah he she kind of like broke him into pieces like <laughs> what can i say and then in came um that girl from the sky uh, she was called what was she called uh, she was uh, the uh, rat uh, witch of wrath minerva yeah minerva and uh, like the things that she did and the things that she was saying well like, well, like completely opposite she was saying that i am the wrath uh, like uh, my wrath will bring the end of the world and all all of this things she was quite screaming but at the same time she kind of healed subaru so <laughs> yeah i don't know what to think of that but she was also like kind of shooting hard beams i don't know what was with that but she seemed quite different from a person who was like the witch of wrath like uh, something that i would expect from a witch of wrath like she was completely opposite yeah, like she was like, what can I say? Like she was eccentric, but she was at least she kind of helped Subaru. <laughs> did not scare him or anything. And then she, uh, her uh, uh, portion was quite small, and she kind of went away. And also, uh, like I don't know why, but uh, she kind of reminds me of Beatrice. I don't know why, but because like her facial structure and everything, she looks like a bigger kind of Beatrice, like a grown-up Beatrice. Um, no, uh, that's wrong because I think Beatrice is quite grown up. But, like, uh, I'm talking about physically grown up Beatrice. Anyways, and uh, then she kind of went away, and then came Daphne. And, uh, like, uh, yeah, like, it is quite apparent that she is kind of like the witch of gluttony because she was like chained. Uh, if, I think if her restraints were taken off and her blindfold was taken off, she would have probably eaten up everything. And that's why she was like kind of sealed and uh, uh, one thing like here's one thing that she created those ma beasts the white whale um, the great rabbits uh, the white whale as far as i can remember is like eats memories as far as i can remember like that's also one form of gluttony and uh, the uh, uh, rabbits like they literally eat like they just eat for their hunger and that's as simple as it can get like that is also gluttony i don't know about the snake and what type of gluttony it uh, like comes with and uh, like there's another interesting thing here like so she like made them so that the others can eat him uh, eat them like she so she, she kind of like thought for the other people like she thought that yeah the, like uh, there are a lot of people so let me make these three things so that they don't get hungry and they can eat them but like uh like she did that thinking for the other people but the table turned and they are like eating them so like it just became the hunter became hunted kind of thing and uh, like she also says this thing that um uh, like if you eat something you should also be like prepared to be eaten like something like that <laughs> like we can't think like in our uh, like normal situations we can think that kind of like that, that kind of uh thought process is not like uh, suitable for our world because like we eat um hen uh, like chickens um ducks uh, what else like uh, all of the other things cows um, um, all of the other kind of things so like like <laughs> like by her like what can i say by her uh, uh according to her like we should also be <laughs> prepared to be eaten by them <laughs> okay that is kind of scary anyways so yeah she kind of said these type of things and like ah he is she is kind of correct but um like uh what can i say like uh, like she she is technically like subaru also said that you're technically correct but that's not how things should go but uh, that's not how like normal things would go but anyways like all of these things happened and she also kind of like gave Subaru a hint like she said that uh, those things uh, accumulate at a place where there's a lot of mana so like he can like probably make some kind of trap and kill them at all at once so yeah we're probably going to see like uh, the like the bunnies are kind of like problematic because they kind of like uh, reproduce um, like 
like what can i say instantly and quite quickly and like we don't know like uh, like if one at least one is left then that would be like disastrous so you have to like really be sure that yeah all of these things are gathered around here and then we can kill it and after the killing them uh, like they have to make sure that not even one is left so that is quite a problem because there are like so many and like then Daphne went away like Sura also kind of like uh, said that yeah I'll take care of them and I've already taken care of the white whale and uh, what can this do and Daphne was also kind of like said that yeah let's see you do it and all of this thing happened and uh, after that Ekidona returned and yeah Subaru is right Ekidona is the like the most normal out of all of them and <laughs> Uh, she also like uh, what can I say she like what happened here um, oh she also said that Emily won't be able to like uh, clear the trials uh, we're probably going to see that later on and uh, Subaru also kind of secured a way for his memories to not go away each time he goes back uh, so that's quite a plus point and uh, uh, that handkerchief was used as kind of like a contract thing. I don't know what that was. Uh, this, okay, this payment is a recognition of that person's existence. All right, and perhaps a bit of meddling as well. Existence. Mm. As far as I can remember, like uh, Rem, like Rem also has like for her existence is forgotten. So like, can can she do also something about Rem? Like taking something of her possession and I don't know. Um, I, I'm just thinking like, like, uh, like as far as we know, like uh, it was also said that Rem's existence itself was forgotten. Like her uh, being, her being uh, itself was eaten. So we'll probably see that later on. Like uh, we really didn't need Rem to come back. Like yeah. But okay, so that was that part, and uh, then uh, Super went back, and well, what can I say? Another problem strikes. Uh, Satella came in. Now here's my thing, uh, thinking like I think Satella came here because like Subaru, I don't know, like she is like the witch of envy. So was was she jealous or something? I don't know, and that's why she came here, and she was like saying I love you and love you and I love you and everything like this. And like the sound was, <laughs> you were stickling in my ears. Like, <laughs> well, that was quite an experience. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, uh, like that was the first time like experiencing something like that. Like, at, at, at the like base of your ear, someone whispering like that. Uh, okay. And then we see like uh, Garfield saving him now i don't know why he saved him now because previously he was kind of angry that uh, like the witches sent his uh, with him so i thought that he would probably get mad at this but i don't know why but anyways he also kind of saved him and like now settle is probably going to the rosal mansion and guess what elsa is also there and i like i wish that those two kind of like uh, what can i say start fighting against each other so that both of the enemies can kind of take out each other like no settle is not an enemy what am i saying settle is i i hope and i wish that settle is not an enemy but like i uh, i hope that uh, they kind of like uh, fight against each other and elsa kind of runs away <laughs> i don't know i don't know if that's wishful thinking or not but anyways and uh, i uh, guess like Sugar is going to go back to the rose one mansion in the next episode and then at the ending, like after the end credits scene, we also see that Rosewall was saying something like, you also made a mistake this time and uh, get it uh, correct next time. Uh, and she, he was also like kind of holding a book. I don't know what that was. If you wish to walk through hell, I'll gladly accompany you. And who was he saying that to? Was it Subaru? If you wish to live in hell, then hell is what I shall strive for. Try not to make any mistakes next time. 
not seeking Subaru. So he he is like mentioning Subaru. Like so like he knows about Subaru's return by that because he said that like uh, next time. So I'm guessing that he knows about that is his power. Anyways, um so yeah, that was this episode. And there were a lot of things in this episode, so I was like talking for I'm talking for a long time. Oh my god, it's like 45 minutes. Anyways, um so yeah. Uh, so that was this episode guys um, that was interesting that was a really interesting episode and we got to learn a lot of things here and like hopefully in the next episode we like like something like happens uh, for the good like there Elsa is over there and Satella is also going there and I hope that Satella doesn't harm them or, or all of the others and kind of like takes out Elsa like that would be the best possible outcome like uh, Satella going there and not harming Rem and all of the others, Frederica and uh, Petra, and uh, like uh, only defeating Elsa. Yeah, that would be the best outcome. I don't know, like, uh, this show is like quite. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> like, things don't go the way you wish. So, yeah, that's kind of wishful thinking. Anyways, we'll probably see that in the next episode. So, yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, be sure to comment down below your uh, opinion about this episode. Anything you want to share, I'll be sure to check them out. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with a new review episode next week. Uh, it's episode number 10, isn't it? Yeah, almost at the end. So yeah, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.